I was going to do a short Q&A and the first question is where I'm from and how did I find this place? I'm from Sweden and I'm from a small town uh, 25 minutes away with a car um, and this place is nearby a lake and my hometown is literally on the other side of the lake so you have to drive around the lake to, to, to get to this place and I've been looking for a cabin for about three years I think before finding this one and I think I looked at maybe seven to eight different properties before deciding on getting this one I sometimes just drove past them or knew about them before most of them are in my hometown uh, and some are found like in other places and yeah for the most part the owners didn't want to sell for some reason and other in other I instances I didn't get a hold of the the owner because either she or he was very old and didn't have a phone number or they didn't pick up or respond basically but then I found this one and I, n I know the owners from before so it's quite an easy easy buy really are you planning on living there full time no my plan is not to live here full time not for the time being at least uh, maybe down the line I'll live here permanently but for now I'm gonna use it more as a summer getaway or when I go here from London it's mainly gonna be like a summer house for me um, go here during the summer month and then every now and then I'll go in the spring and, and autumn winter's probably too cold I might go here to do some um, renovations and work but probably not stay here um, I need to insulate it and get uh, like proper heating I don't think the wood stove is enough for winter time because you you literally have to feed the fire every f like between 15 and 20 minutes so you can't really go to sleep so uh, yeah are you planning to find a better and permanent water source and power source you can stay longer yes that's the plan um, I do have my solar panel now but that's not enough uh, so I'm gonna connect the cabin back to the grid again next year some people seem to think that it's already connected um, it has been uh, in the 80s they the owners back then cut the connection so there hasn't been uh, any electricity in the cabin since the 80s at least that's what I've been told and water source yeah there's a well on my property um, next to the other cabin uh, I don't know the state of the water, it looks very dirty and I need to first of all drain the, co the, the waters in there and then clean the, the well to get rid of all the, the stuff that's in there and then when the new water comes in uh, and hopefully it does, uh, I'll take a sample of that and send it to a lab. Uh, my guess is that it's not drinkable so I could probably use it for like showering or washing up and stuff like that but for drinking water I probably need to dr drill another well and that's quite expensive so I have to uh, do that in the future sometime uh, it's not really a priority to get the water uh, sorted for now I don't mind bringing drinking water here uh, electricity is a, bit, is a bigger issue at the moment what are your plans inside and outside I do have some plans I know roughly what I want to do in the kitchen and in the study upstairs um, and outside I'm not entirely sure what I want to do um, so this year has mainly been like get here do some work and then like wrap my head around what I want to do um, so yeah I'll probably do another video about my plans in the future when I'm more certain about what I want to do but I can show you like a rough sketch that I've done um, of, of the property and you can see sort of what I'm thinking um, outside at least but that's not nearly a hundred percent sure that I'm gonna do it do it that way but that's that's my maybe my plan for now so this is an overview of the property and you've seen most of this already and 
what's new is that I plan to maybe build a sauna over here or I might do it down by the the creek where all the uh, lupins grow but it would be nice to have a sauna looking out over the fields because the sun this is the sun setting over there so it would be nice to like in the summer be in a sauna and and have a uh, sunset to to view from in there and what's new is these raised garden beds that I think would be nice to have here because the sun goes like this so it has sun for most of the day then it goes like this and this is that area is in sun from lunch or uh, and onwards so that would be really good it might even be in the sun in the morning as well because the sun in right here in the summer it goes really high up so and over here going from the kitchen out I think I might add a, a bathroom because it still has kind of like a nice shape the cabin and I don't see where else I could put a bathroom without being extremely tiny I'm not sure yet this is a very rough sketch just to get an idea of what I can do were you thinking of finding the family that the wedding picture belongs to I am in contact with a granddaughter of someone that used to live here I think uh, on Instagram she reached out to me and said um, they like seeing my work because they've been here so I'm gonna try to get in contact with her grandma and then see if she has any photos of the cabin um, would be fun to see what it looked like back then because you can see like remnants of, of what it used to be but it would be fun to see it uh, in its prime maybe get some ideas of how I can restore it back to that sort of um, state and also uh, learn some history about the the cabin that would be fun too so yeah I'm, I'm planning to reaching out and maybe even giving back the wedding photos to them I think it's quite weird to have someone else's wedding photos um, in this cabin how much did you pay for the house like I said I know the owners that had it before me and I reached out to them end of last year I think and they said they wanted to sell it and if I wanted to buy it before they put it on the market I was more than welcome to and so I, I, I went here and had a look and I really liked it and then we came to an agreement so I bought it before the they put it on the market so I didn't have to outbid anyone to get it so I paid 375,000 Swedish crowns so it's 28,000 pounds or 34,000 dollars and when I bought it it was valued to about 33,000 pounds or 40,000 dollars <laughs> when was the house built I spoke to the previous owners as I'm not sure and they thought it was built in somewhere between 1850s and 1880s but that's just the main cabin I think because the the hallway and the stairwell are an add-on because the wooden panel on the outside is different from the rest of the cabin and also there's a window on the top floor that's been um, um, shut and one of the walls in the hallway goes through like the middle of that window so the cabin hasn't always looked like this so it would be fun to get um, a more precise year when it was built uh, and hopefully if I get in contact with that grandma uh, she could possibly tell me on this door behind me on the inside there's a, a year saying 1955 so maybe that's when this was built and maybe that's when they added the hallway as well but I'm not sure what attracted you to do this so I'm a filmmaker and wh when I work it's mostly in front of a laptop writing or when I'm on set directing it's not that I can hold the product that I make during the pandemic I started wood carving which was really nice and very therapeutic and what I really liked about that is that you I got to work with my hands and I could hold the product afterwards I can see what I made and see it in front of me and touch it and all of that so I guess this is in a way an extension of that and I get to work with my hands and there's like a physical aspect of it all and I can see what I make and another as aspect I think is when I do go back to Sweden from London it's mostly that I have to stay with my parents if I'm in my hometown 
or if I go to Stockholm to see some friends, I have to stay in their place. And when I go back now with this cabin, it means I can stay here and it's my own thing. I have my own routine here. I can do whatever I want. I don't have to plan my life around someone else's life, which is, which is a really nice thing. And it's also building and renovating this is a big project, but it's my project. Every decision is my decision and I I can do whatever I want to do and I can do it in in a pace that suits my lifestyle and that's really freeing and also very um, nice and creative I think because I don't have the pressure to do anything at, what, uh, at a certain time I can just do whatever I want whenever I want to, to do it so that's why you see me do that thing and then go do that thing it's like whenever I do stuff it's I do more work comes out of that so for example when I did when I started uh, pruning the garden I needed the compost to put all the branches and leaves and stuff but one thing about clearing up the garden led to me having to do the compost so that's sort of how it works over here one project leads to the next and then that project leads to the next and so forth so I hope that answers all your questions and if you do have more questions feel free to send them over and I'll do another one of these uh, later on.